Hey guys, Kizmo here, and today I'm going to talk about white gold potion, which you sooner or later will realize to be a very important ingredient when you are trying to make any special substances such as rubido, vitriol, albedo, and so on and so forth, which in turn you will need to make superior oils and potions, and obviously any other stuff as well. In the beginning of the game, when you are using lower level potions, white gold might not be as important to you, so it's easy to ignore it and miss it, especially since your starting coin will be low and the ingredients to make it are fairly expensive as well. You can buy the white gold potion in a white orchard from a herbalist called Tamira. In order to unlock or discover Tamira, you first need to liberate an abandoned site that is located just south of Wosung Bridge or east from abandoned village. After liberation of the camp, it will spawn a random herbalist. Once that herbalist disappears, which is just a few days of meditation, then Tamira will resettle in her cabin, which is just east of Sawmill. If you have enough coin, then it's definitely worth to invest in a white gold potion. If not, you can always come back later when you have the coin and purchase it when you want. The kingfisher preened, then fell in the latrine. Know it? Yeah. Also know the one about Princess Annie, who drowned in the river Fanny. To make white gold, you need quite a few ingredients, such as empty bottle, a reunion herb, redanian herbal, and last two ingredients being mandrake cordial and cherry cordial. The first three you can easily find in random loots as you progress through Witcher World. However, if you can't be bothered to search for them in a while, then visiting local bars and inns for empty bottles and redinian herbal, and herbalist for a redinian herb will also work for you. Now whilst mandrake cordial and cherry cordial are also mostly sold by merchants and innkeepers, you will find that they are usually sold separately and you might have to travel between the merchants. And that can be quite cumbersome, travelling back and forth who wants to do that. Therefore, I found a really good spot that will be easily accessible where you can get both of them at the same time. Now, a lot of people will recommend you that the innkeeper in a white orchard will sell both of them, which is true. However, more than likely you will be short of coin and by the time you have enough coin or need to create the white gold, the innkeeper in white orchard will be gone. Therefore, the easiest spot for mandrake cordial and cherry cordial is a merchant at Crow's Perch. Right after crossing the bridge to Crow's Perch and turning right towards the Bloody Baron's house, there is a merchant who will sell mandrake cordial and cherry cordial together. So all you have to do is make your way up there and you'll be able to buy them together in one spot. Oh, and also, a good tip for you is that after you buy out all his stock, all you have to do in order to replenish it is to exit the items view and just ask to see his wares again, without the need to leave and come back and restart the conversation. So as simple as that, you will have your ingredients for white gold potion. It's fairly easy to miss in the beginning, as you don't have the need for it, nor the coins for the ingredients, but later on in the game, when you realize how important the white gold is, you might be a little stumped where to get everything. Now there might be other locations for the potions and ingredients, and I'm not saying these are the must-go places, but I found these to be the easiest to access and find. In either case, I hope this guide has helped you, and you will be able to enjoy the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt to the fullest of its potential. Thanks for watching guys, it's been Gizmo from Two Old Gamers, stay tuned for more and I will see you later. Take care guys.